everyone, Nico Me here, and wow, in the last five minutes, we almost got like double of the news we've already had. There's so much to digest. Right now, I'm going to do a quick recap about everything that we have, and then uh, I'm going to do many, many videos digesting specific things, because there's so much to talk about, so little time. So yeah, right now, I'm just going to talk about basically everything as a whole real quick, and then I'm going to do... Uh, a lot of things in detail. So, we have so many new Pokemon and new forms. Okay, so there's, to start off, you're probably like, what in the heck a Dekagon is this? There are new Alola form Pokemon. So, a lot of old Pokemon now have new forms in Alola, which is crazy as it is. It's basically, I don't even know if it's like a Mega Evolution where like it gets a lot stronger, but I don't believe it's like a once per turn type of thing, like once per uh, battle. I think you can have as many Alolan Pokemon as you want. It's like a, another evolution, basically. I don't know why they just didn't introduce a new evolution instead of making it an Alolan form. But I can't complain because all of them are freaking awesome. So, Executor, which isn't a terrible Pokemon, now has an amazing new form of Alolan Executor, where it's Grass Dragon, and its new ability is Frisk. Like I said, I'm going to be doing movesets, uh, types, um, abilities, all that stuff specific for each of these new forms in Pokemon. So, if you want to see more in detail, I'm going to be doing every single Pokemon that's going to get their own video. So, make sure you hit the subscribe button and see that. Okay, we have Alolan Nightales. I, I died when I saw this. Ice Fairy. Wow. And then, uh, Vulpix, Ice. That kind of took me off guard, though, too, because, um, Vile, or, um, Ninetales is just fire. I don't know why it's Ice and Fairy, but I can't complain. I love those types. Alolan Sand Slash is Ice Steel. So many, already, like, we didn't have, jeez. Already, we have all these new, unique typing. Ghost Flying. Okay, so this is Oricorio. I really like this idea. So basically, it's a dancing bird, and it's a flying type, and in every single island, there's a different form of it. Kind of like, uh, what's that one Pokemon in Sinnoh? You know what I'm talking about. It's like the, uh, it's the, uh, the trash <laughs> grass thing that flies. You know what I'm talking about. It's basically like that. So this one's the ghost one. I thought this was gonna be ice or water. I don't know why it's ghost, but still, I think this, this isn't the fire one, my favorite. This is the uh, Pau style. This is Psychic Flying. This is uh, Pom Pom style. I actually really like this one too. It's Flying Electric. And this one's the Ballet style. I think that's how you say it. It's Fire Flying. It's new ability Dancer is freaking awesome. So whenever your opponent does a dance move, so Swords Dance, uh, Dragon Dance, Quiver Dance, it copies the stat boost, which can completely ruin someone's strategy because you're probably not going to waste your moves if they're just going to get the stat boost too. So that's really cool. We have Mudbray, which is the um, first evolution of uh, Mudsdale. So Mudsdale is probably not going to get a third evolution. Miner. Miner is really interesting. So Miner has four forms and has a new ability, Shields Down, which I guess um, it takes all the damage and then once you get hit, Okay, so let's read it, actually. Which no other Pokemon has ever had before. With Shield's down ability, it has excellent defense capabilities as long as the shield is in in intact. It will also be protected from status conditions, but when it drops half below, it will break. And then, it, has all, it all has these four different colors, which is interesting. When it breaks. Okay, we have Gumshoes, which is... It should look even more than Trump. is Young Goose's... Um, Second evolution, which is cool to see they have more evolutions now. Um, Lurantis, I honestly am not extremely impressed with this one, even though I'm typically the one who loves, like, the girlyish grass Pokemon, like, Meganium and Jumpluff. But, okay, Lurantis draws opponents near to it, so I'm gonna do another video on it. Basically, it's just a grass Pokemon. I will probably like it. I like its pants. It looks like, like... I don't even know. It just... I mean, it's there. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. Fomantis. As a whole, though, like, 
when I, when I complain about the Pokemon in this region, it's not even like I'm complaining because as a whole, this is probably one of my favorite generations already of Pokemon. So when we have a decent one, it's like, uh, it's not that good because all the other ones are so great. Now let's talk about Z moves real quick. Again, I'm going to do a huge video on Z moves, but basically it's a new thing like Mega Evolutions where once per turn you can, or once per uh, battle, your your Pokemon gets a super powerful move of its type. Which is cool. Oh, you can get a real life Z ring. That's really cool. I'll definitely get that. Um, the only thing I question about this, like I still don't really understand it that much. Basically, once per uh, game, you can have a supercharged move of your typing. The thing I'm questioning is, does that mean since it's a bracelet, are we not going to have Mega Evolution because there's no Mega Evolution bracelet? Or can you use both Mega Evolution and Z-Moves per turn or battle? Or can you only use one of each per battle? Like, can you only equip one per, ba one per battle? I don't know. But that's cool. And then we have uh, some news about um, you have to challenge your... Uh, like the leader of a of an island. I don't know if you still have to face the gym leader too. Yeah, it's like the right of island and then the trial captains. They all look really cool. Let's look at them real quick. Okay, we'll read about this because I still am kind of confused. Each trial has a captain whose role is to provide guidance to trial goers. All of the captains are trainers who undertook trials in their own. Okay, so I think they like train you. They train you to beat the Trial of Passage. They're all really cool. I like all the designs. Lana, Captain Mallow, Sophocles, Sophocles and Kiwi. I think uh, Luna's my favorite, or Lana. So that's really cool. And then uh, I talked more about um, riding on Pokemon, too, uh, which is cool. Um, we already had riding on Pokemon. We already kind of knew about it. I think it has, like, an official name right now, so let's look. It's cool how, like, the design on your riding Pokemon. Move forward with Poke Ride. One aspect of the culture in Alola region is something known as Poke Ride, in which certain Pokemon help people to get places they wouldn't reach without human strength. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, they don't even join your team. I kind of wish they joined your team, but it is what it is. Thank you for watching. Like I said, I'm going to go in detail for all of these new Pokemon, new forms, Z-moves in particular. So if you want to see that, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys soon.